In this short video, we'll be discussing the differences between adult, child and infant BLS following the latest 2020 American Heart Association guidelines. So let's jump straight in. Here we go. As always, we need to start off with scene safety. We need to make sure the environment is safe for the rescuers and the victim. Our next step is to check for response. Hey, 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 are you okay? Tap and shout. Check for breathing. Check for a pulse. Check for 5 to 10 seconds. If no breathing or no pulse, immediately activate your local emergency system. If a mobile device is available, phone the emergency services and put your phone on hands-free mode. If you are alone with no mobile phone, leave the adult victim to activate the emergency response system and get the AED before beginning CPR. Otherwise, send someone and begin CPR immediately and use the AED as soon as it's available. In children and infants, if it's a witness collapse, follow the same steps as for adults on the left. If it was an unwitnessed collapse, give two minutes of high quality CPR and then leave the victim to activate the emergency response system and get the AED. The compression to ventilation ratio without an advanced airway in adults is 30 to 2. In one rescuer, child or infant CPR, it's 30 to 2, and two or more rescuers will be 15 to 2. If you're performing compressions with an advanced airway, you'll continuously do compressions at a rate on adults of 100 to 120 pushes per minute, and you'll give one breath every six seconds. In children and in infants, you'll also continuously perform compressions at a rate of 100 to 120 pushes, but this time you'll give one breath every two to three seconds. Always remember compression rate is pushing hard, pushing fast at a rate of 100 to 120 pushes per minute. In adults, we need to push down at least five centimeters. In children and infants, we need to push down one-third of the anterior-posterior chest. In children, it's approximately five centimeters, and in infants, it's approximately four centimeters. The hand placement in adult CPR, you need to use two hands on the lower half of the breastbone. In children, you can use two hands or one hand on the lower half of the breastbone. In infants, if you're a single rescuer, you can use the two fingers or two thumbs in the center of the chest, just below the nipple line. For two or more rescuers, the two thumb encircling hands in the center of the chest is the preferred technique, just below the nipple line. Also keep in mind, if the rescuer is unable to achieve the recommended death, it may be reasonable to use the heel of one hand. Always remember to allow full chest recoil. Also make sure that you minimize interruptions and limit the interruptions in chest compressions to less than 10 seconds with the chest compression fraction goal of 80%. If you benefited from this video, kindly like, subscribe and smash that notification bell. We'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day.